Well, for most Americans, the measures being taken to fight coronavirus unprecedented. And for some, it can cause high levels of fear, stress and anxiety. Our Lee Peck spoke to the chair of the Department of Psychiatry at South Alabama's College of Medicine. And Lee, what's the advice to get a handle on all of this? Well, Byron, the main thing is don't panic and stay calm. While we haven't seen a response like this in modern times, he says there are ways to get into control of the situation, and a lot of it is what health experts are already recommending. As the world responds to a global pandemic, confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. are now well into the thousands with nearly 100 deaths. As schools and businesses temporarily close their doors and other extraordinary measures put in place, you don't have to look far to see panic and fear has set in from coast to coast. And right now, fear uh, is in order because this virus is serious and we need to take it seriously. Anxiety is an exaggerated response and one way to deal with anxiety is to gain a sense of control and the recommendations that are coming now about keeping a safe distance and cleansing give us a sense of control in that the virus uh, is not supernatural. It does respond to the laws of nature. Dr. Ronald Franks, the chair of the Department of Psychiatry of USA's College of Medicine, telling us these are all normal reactions and urges parents to talk with their children to ease their minds during this time. Fortunately, it looks as if children are at lower risk of having a serious infection. And so for that reason, I think parents can be reassuring to children who want to be safe but not alarm the children that uh, they are at high risk. And when it comes to social media, he says the messages can often be misleading. His advice is listen to the experts, the scientists, physicians, other health care providers, whose job it is to diagnose, treat, and prevent infectious diseases. Now, one tip uh, Dr. Franks did give to manage the stress and anxiety is meditation. And in extreme cases, seek a physician for possible medication. In the newsroom, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.